This Boost Your BIM video shows how the Revit API can be used to track information about Revit files as they are opened. To start, a simple any file defines where the output log will be created. Now we'll go to Revit, in this case Revit 2013, and open a file. You can see the log file has been created and it contains information about when the file open was started and completed, the elapsed time to open rounded down to the nearest second, the username, the name of the file, the file size, uh, if this is a work shared file we'll have the path to the central file, the last saved version of this Revit file, the fact that this file was saved in the current version and therefore did not need to upgrade, and then some information about the current Revit session, the name of the Revit version, the version number, and the build number. Now I'll switch to Revit 2014 and open up some files. I'll open up a local file. Now I'll open up a 2013 file. Now I'll switch back to 2013 and open up a few other files as well. The upgrade is almost complete for the 2013 file being opened in 2014. And now we can go back and see our log file which has been updated with information about all of these new files. Again we can see the open time rounded down to the nearest second. In the case of the upgraded file that was just opened, uh, we can see that took 41 seconds the file name, file sizes, in the case of the local file that was opened, here's the name of the central file, and again for that file, the 2013 file that was opened in 2014, we can see here that it is marked false, that it was not saved in the current version, the information about the build numbers which differ in the 2013 and 2014 versions of Revit, and I hope that this is a useful tool that will um, help you keep track of what's happening in Revit, what files need to be upgraded, and also the ability to track over time the size and open time for files as your work on them evolves and the file sizes grow.